Hey Fingsters, in today's lecture, we will be discussing about a certain kind of import error which says attempted relative import with no known parent package. Now in order to solve an error, you must understand why that error occurs or when that error occurs. So to understand this error, you have to have a look or you have to have a proper understanding of your directory structure. That is the directory structure of your project. Now let's say that I am within my errors folder and within it I have couple of more folders. These are components and tests. Now within the components directory I have a python file by the name mod. Now mod has this function and it simply prints hey fingster. Again within the tests folder we have another file which goes by the name app.py. Now within app.py, I am trying to import my components package. Now you can consider components directory as a package itself and within it mod is a module and we are trying to import the mod module from the components package. After that, we simply go ahead and use the foo method as you can see that this module has a method named foo. So we are simply going ahead and calling that method foo from the module mod. Now everything seems to be working fine here. So why did we get the error? So in Python, the import mechanism works in accordance with the name of the current file. Hence, when a file is executed directly, then the name of the file being executed is not its actual name. Instead, the name of the file will be main since the script that contains the relative import path can only be referenced as a module and cannot be executed directly. Hence, the import mechanism in this case will fail and you will encounter a relative import error. So what happens in this case is Python thinks that you are simply trying to execute the mod function of the components module directly. Hence it gets confused and that happens majorly because of this directory structure that you have. Now as you can see that we have referenced to the components package with the help of its relative path and this is where Python is getting confused. So the best way to solve this error is to import the required module with the help of its absolute path. Hence, it's time to visualize the fixes. So let's go ahead and fix this error by importing the module with the help of its absolute path instead of using the relative path. Hence, instead of using the double dot notation, we will simply say from errors dot components import mod and that's it. This will simply go ahead and tell Python that yes, now you need to go ahead and search for a package components which lies within the parent folder errors and from the components package, you have to import the module mod. Python will understand that and it will go ahead and grab the required module and then execute the code as required. So let's see if this works. And there we go. As you can see that we have now successfully resolved the error. So this is how you can use the absolute path instead of using the relative import to solve this error. Well, there's one more solution to this. Rather, I would say there are two more solutions to this error and we will have a look at them quickly. Well, if you want to keep the relative import as it is, then there's another way you can do this. But in this case, you have to open up your terminal. Now we are inside our terminal. So at present we are within this folder errors. What I'll do is I'll go back to this folder Fingster and from Fingster I'll execute my code. So to go one level back using your terminal in Windows, you have to use the command CD space and couple of dots. And there we go. We are now within our folder Fingster. So this is our main project folder and within this we have our folder errors and within that we have the two other folders which are components and tests. Now we want to execute app.py. So to do that you have to use the command python space errors which is the parent folder for the folders components and test and then I want to use my folder test dot 
and now the name of the file that I want to execute, which is app. Now, please note, you do not have to use app.py. You simply have to use app. So this is how you can execute a normal Python script. But will this work in this case? Let's have a look. No, it didn't work. So to avoid this, you have to use command line switch minus M and this will help Python to locate the script from the given package. So let's see if this works or not. And there we go. As you can see that as soon as we used the switch minus M, the program was executed properly. Thus minus M is a command line switch that allows Python to locate modules using the Python module namespace for execution as scripts. So this is how you can still use your relative path and execute it with the help of the minus M switch within your terminal. Well, this was the second way. There's one more way using which you can avoid or solve this error. The third solution needs us to import the sys module. So in this approach to deal with the error, we will use sys.path.append method to add a directory of the required module to the environment variable. The list of directories that Python searches for the required modules and files are stored in the path attribute of the sys module. Since path is a list, so we can use the append method to simply add new directories. Hence, we are going to use this facility of the sys module to avoid our error. So let's see how we will be doing this in our code. So let's go ahead and import sys. Now let's use sys.path.append. Now what do we pass within append? We simply go ahead and pass the path of our mod file. So how do we extract the path of our mod file? To extract the path of our mod file, we simply have to find the path of the folder components. So we right click on this folder, click on copy path. And now here you can see that we have the absolute path. So let's copy that and let's paste it here. In order to avoid any error, let's use this as a raw string. So you have to use the prefix R in order to avoid any error with this string. And that's it. Now you can simply go ahead and import mod and use the foo method of the mod module. Well, now let's check if this works. And there we go. So as you can see, we have the required output. So with that, we come to the end of this discussion. I hope this discussion helped you to find the answer to your queries. If you have any doubts, Please mention them in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer all your queries. Thank you.